Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, uh, that's it's Lana. <laughs> I uh, never thought I'd have a hips fan at Wolf Manor, let me tell you that. I'm with the one and only Lana Wolf. Uh, thank you for having me on your channel, Darren. It's an honour. It's alright, Lana. And thank you for coming on mine as well. No, nah, it's fine. To everyone watching, we've done one YouTube video for Darren and one for me, so you can check them both out. So, Lana, everyone will, is going to know that you're quite big on social media. You're a massive Rangers fan. I want to ask, what made you become a massive Rangers fan? My family, really. But a, what a lot of people don't know about me, I keep this a little bit of a secret, but my family is mixed, Rangers and Celtic. But I just always leant towards the Rangers sides with my grandparents who were in the armed forces. They were big Rangers fans and that's how they met, was in the army. And my mum's a big Rangers fan and we won't talk about the other side of the family. <laughs> but let me tell you, daddy issues. Oh, <laughs> um, obviously, the sun take a lot of clips. Mm -hmm. you when I think you said if Rangers won 55 you were gonna do something? I think I said that I would give a free subscription to all the football players. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I like to give all the Rangers uh, players a wee bit of an incentive now and again, you know, just to make sure that they're playing their best. <laughs> and obviously you are... Uh, well known in the adult industry. I am indeed. We can talk all day about that because I've been doing that for quite a while. What age were you when you first got into it? Honestly, I think I was like 18 or 19 when I first did a bit of webcamming. And then when I went and did a season in Magaluf for the first time, I was working in a bar, but I got scouted by the people. Well, well, I say I got scouted. The people who owned the bar that I worked in. They also owned a nightclub that you could dance in for money. So uh, I was that bubbly and loud and, you know, good chess that they Big asked jump. me. They asked me after like three days of working there, they were like, right, we need you down in, down in, the, down in the club, Lana. So I was like, okay. And then within the first few weeks of me working there, I was in the top three earners of the club. So I ended up going back I mean, I was in Magaluf for like on and off for five years, something like that. Crazy time. Yeah. A lot of partying. <laughs> and obviously you've done a bit of the hub. Yeah. Of so, uh, so yeah. So that's how I got into like adult work, I suppose, was um, dancing and camming. But eventually when I went OnlyFans full time, I'm allowed to say that on YouTube. Only friends. Only friends. So when I went OnlyFans full time, I quit my real job. And then I started doing stuff with my ex-boyfriend. So my ex-boyfriend and me just made some amateur content. And then, I don't know, I just started getting bigger and bigger and then a big websites like Team Skate and Brazzers have recognised me and then I've, I've shot for them a few times. But I try not to do too much pro stuff because I like to keep it exclusive to my own site. Obviously, what um, has been your highest, you can say or not, what has been your highest paid month? <laughs> What a question! Um, oh, the most money I ever made in one month was almost 60k. But it's not, uh, but there's a lot of girls that make a lot more than me. A lot of, like, some girls make like 100k and stuff like that. I've never made that much. Not yet. But, uh, but that was back in lockdown. OnlyFans is, it's not quite the same. It's still good money, but it's not quite the same now as what it used to be. But yeah, I guess we just have to keep going with it. I mean, I can't go back to a normal job now, can I? What, what, <laughs> what was your normal job? So the last job that I had was in a Christian charity that helped homeless people in Edinburgh and it was called Bethany Christian Trust. And uh, we used to do a prayer in the morning and then, you know, I was uh, had to pretend that I was a good, innocent girl. And then on the weekends, I was dancing in Fantasy Palace in Edinburgh or Private Eyes Dundee. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then also doing a bit of a OF on the side. So yeah, that was the last job I had, but I, I quit. And then what, when I quit my nine to five, I had a lot more time to spend and focus on my own business. And then that's when things really boomed. Have you currently got a season ticket for Rangers? No, I've been on the waiting list forever. I have a theory that they don't want to give me one. <laughs> so well, you can always I used to, I used to, I, I did, I did buy someone, I borrowed someone, someone else's season ticket last season. And I've been offered it again this season, but I don't know. I think I just want to buy my own tickets to get my own MyJers points. You know what? Uh, I'll say it on here. I may get you a ticket for a Rangers game. Whoa, you might buy me a Rangers ticket. Maybe. What, are you going to come to a Rangers game? Aren't you a big Hibs fan? Yeah, but I can be a neutral. For that one game. Just a ground hopper? Yeah. A wee, wee bit of tourism. Football but, tourism. But I'm not hopping, I'm wee one. Oh, God. <laughs> now, only... <laughs> he keeps coming out with these fucking jokes, man. It makes me feel so bad when I laugh. But you laugh, I don't care. It's true, I've got wee on. Mm -hmm. Rather than you, mum. Like. I'm just trying to be sen like I'm just trying to be sensitive. You're not a sensitive. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know, I'm the big bad wolf, aren't I? Kinky wolf. Will, were you intimidated before before you arrived? Were you a bit nervous no. to see me? No. Nah? Cool as a cucumber? Yeah. I was well anxious to meet you. I don't get anxious or nervous. Oh, no, I get really anxious meeting new people. And by the way, I'm wearing pink latex and white high heel boots, as requested by Darren. <laughs> Do you like the outfit? Yeah, but it would be better on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just want to say thanks to Lana for obviously having me in Wolf Manor. And yeah, anything you want to say? Well, I've just had an absolutely amazing time. You, I'm really, really grateful that you've travelled like over an hour to come here. Um, all the way from the Scottish borders. Do you know I used to live in Selkirk, right near Gala? Mm. Spent a lot of time in Gala when I was little. See, a lot of people don't know that I've lived in a lot of different places. That's why it's quite difficult to pinpoint my accent. But I've lived in England, Scottish borders, what, what Edinburgh, you, Fife, Glasgow. Why before you when you were in Gala? Um, uh, it wasn't high school. I went to primary school oh. in Selkirk. I never, I never made it to Selkirk High. No, what age were you in Gala? Well, I didn't live in Gala, I lived in Selkirk, but I just, because Gala's like the closest thing in it. Yeah. I did the common riding. Do you know the common ridings? Yeah, Gala did. I did Selkirk and Gala. I used to be a horse girl when I was little. Well. I well, thought you were going to make it. Hold on. We know why she liked riding. <laughs> she does it for a living. But it all makes sense. Exactly. But can we try and hit? 2,000 subs uh, 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, everyone, you have to respect Darren's hustle. He is on TikTok all the time, on live, trying to get the big collabs. He is smashing it right now, aren't you? Yeah. And I'm totally here for it, buddy. You've got my full support. So everybody, please subscribe to Darren. Let's get this guy really big. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.